We're ready. We're gonna make cornbread. Uh, but I think we're doing it. Uh, and while people start showing up, uh, we can do some preliminary work. All right, let me actually read the instructions, which I probably should have done, all right? Got it, of course. Yeah, so let's start actually. Not one quarter cup of, 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 of butter? I know. Quarter cup. Here they are. They're right here. They're right here. I, I have, got this. I have a... All right. We're gonna melt a quarter... Let me just think about this for. A quarter cup of, uh, of, of vegan butter into a, into a jar. I still got my little... Yes, I do. My little scrapery scraper. Scrapey scrape scrape. As they call it in the uh, the cooking world, a scrapey, like scraping thing. I could have sworn that was called a spatula. No, it's it's not. You you would think that, but that's just because you don't know about cooking. Okay, <laughs> trust me. It's a scrapey scrape scraping thing. Oh, uh, okay. It's not a dopin a dopin No, that's that's another thing. Okay. okay. We're not gonna use that today. What about a dingle hopper? No, it's just a fork. We're gonna use it <laughs> to eat, but nothing else. Okay. This is a funny thing. A lot of people in the cooking world think dingle hoppers are for twirling your hair. That is not what it's for. It's actually for twirling pasta. Or angel hair marinara. Oh, that comes. makes sense. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. Also, your butter's room temperature? Yeah, it's fine. It makes it easier to melt. Mm. Go ahead, pop it in the microwave for about 10 seconds. And while we're doing that, I'm going to go ahead uh, and... That's some uh, radiation poisoning. Exactly, because what is what is this giving if not ruining your thyroid gland? Uh, no, but seriously, I'm gonna go ahead and open this this can. I'm gonna go over here off camera and use the. Uh, all right, they're gonna open up the can of coconut milk for us because that's just the kindness that we, that, that we're gonna go ahead, go ahead and open up that can. It's already open. Good. Bring it over here, and I'm gonna go ahead and measure. Yeah. You can also open up this can of corn, which uh, we're gonna use in a second, not right now. But uh, baking powder, we need uh, two teaspoons. So let's, let's get started on that. Wait, you use actual corn for cornbread? Uh, it's called cornbread for a reason. I'm not gonna lie, I did not know that. What? I thought you mean you think cornbreads. You know, it's like when I made that apple pie, and you're like, "Whoa, you added apples to your apple pie, bruh!" It's called an apple pie. Yeah. I don't know what kind of gas station apple pies you've been eating, <laughs> but where I'm from, we use apple pie. How much sugar does this need? Where's the sugar? Oh, quarter cup of sugar. I just used my quarter cup for the butter. Whatever. I got. I got. This. I got this. Bruh. We're gonna do two eggs. Quarter cup. Alright, that's that fine. That works too. And add the sugar. Add the sugar. Oh, honey, honey. I think that's copyrighted. That's right. Thank you for reminding me. I don't wanna get copyrights. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and add quarter cup of sugar. By the way, I'm usually a lot careful with my measurements. It's just I'm not used to this cooking environment or doing things live or in a timely fashion, okay? I normally take forever. I right, powdered sugar, salt, uh, half a teaspoon of salt. Where's my salt shaker? Here it is. Once again, I just do it by eye. You know what? I don't like for salt. Never hurt anybody. That's a lot. Half yeah, a that's about that's about half. Nutritional yeast. I forgot. This recipe requires some nooch. Every vegan has nutritional yeast. Flavor. I don't. Well, I'm not a vegan. You're not vegan. That's why, bro. And you know what? Even though it says. Two tea. Oh, it's two tablespoons. I was about to say, two teaspoons is not enough. Two tablespoons. Let's go ahead and do one big heaping and then another big heaping tablespoon. That's a lot of Some yeast. nooch. That's another thing. Vegans call it nooch. We don't call it nutritional yeast. Wait, seriously? Yeah, so that's the thing. It's this is the thing. It's an inside joke. Uh, vegan butter been melted. Yes, uh, it should have been melted by now. Whatever. Nah, it's not fully melted. Well, can you fully melt it? In the meanwhile, we're gonna go ahead and add our can of full fat coke. Wait, no! No, I added the. What'd you add? I added the light one. I have full fat. Why didn't I pay attention to that? You know what? It's cool. It's cool. You know what? We didn't even add that much. We didn't even add that much. Crazy. What? Oh, you can open it. No, this is a full fat. 
Yeah. Oh, See, I need to I need to pay attention to what I'm doing. Here we go. Now that's the stuff. Look at all that fat that we have. That don't looks need. delicious. All that fat stuck at the bottom. Because that's how you know it's full fat. Look at all that extra fat. Look look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Oh. Oh look at you that's don't get fat, that's coconut. This is coconut fat. Coconut doesn't have fat, it's coconut. Okay, I was born amongst a coconut tree. Don't tell me what is or isn't coconut fat. I'm literally Puerto Rican and I was born on the island. Okay, you know what? Just because I was born in the States, don't make me less of a Rican than you, okay? Let's not Look. turn it into a competition. So now we're good. Alright, actually there's still a lot of there's still a lot of coconutty goodness in here. But the show must go on. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna pour in that beacon butter into this mix of coconut fat. Okay, it's already in front of me. It's already in front of me. Food, I'm gonna need, I actually am gonna need a whisk for this one. So whisking, whisking, whisking. All right, so now that we got that out of the way, uh, the next step is to add cornmeal and their flour, which was, how much cornmeal are we adding? One cup cornmeal and then one cup uh, regular flour. So we're good, one cup, one cup. All right, got it. Um, and yes, we're adding actual corn, cornmeal to our cornbread. For some people out there, who sure are made nameless. <laughs> Look, I expected the cornmeal, not the corn. It's corn, the big lump with not, I can't sing that song either. Come what, on. you can't say. No, I can't sing the song. The but it has the song. juice. No, don't do that. All right, now we also need some regular flour because apparently corn isn't gluten -y enough. See, I know what I'm doing. I am prepared, okay? I have a list. I checked it twice. All right, so we're going to go ahead add some flour. Is that bread flour? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the regular flour. One cup. Okay. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and add that flour in. Is there any baking powder to this to this mix? Oh, we already added that. We already added it in. So we're gonna go ahead and whisk until desired gluteny consistency. See, the more you beat this, the more gluten develops. Okay. Which makes the bread firmer. Now my question is this. When does corn get added to the cornbread? Soon. That was the next step. Go ahead and drain that real quick. It smells like corn. Yes, as it should, because it's cornbread. It shouldn't smell like anything else. If it smells like regular bread, you done goof. Okay. How much of this are we adding? We're only adding one cup, which is, to be honest, most of it. Bro. Probably better to use a spoon. Thank you. I'm a professional. I know what I'm doing, okay? You have dreams. For legal reasons, I gotta clarify, I'm not actually a professional. I am not licensed to do anything. <laughs> not even licensed to exist. Yet yeah, here I am, breaking the rules. You have dreams. Exactly, I got dreams. So we're gonna dump our corn into our mix. And we keep... All right, here we go. Boom. Uh, do we have to preheat this to 350? Yeah, 375 this time. 375? Yeah, 375. And so while we're waiting for that, we can go ahead and dump this into the mold. It's fine, we know what we're doing. And then focus in on the pan as we dump in all this goodness. Ready? All right, we good? Let's go ahead. Yay, look at that, look at that, I got that. Okay, I need you to not go in there. But I also need you to go in there. You get what I'm saying? So don't go in. But also go in. It's gonna have butter. It's gonna have the juice. It's gonna have sugar. And the knobs. Yeah, yeah, we literally added the knobs in, right? <gasps> we should make a cornbread and just throw in the cob into it just for laughs. Ew. And the corn what? Uh... Cornbread on the cob. This could be the new thing. In fact, I'm I'm patenting that idea. Y'all can steal it. Okay, I it's my idea. So we're gonna bake this in the oven for uh, 40 minutes. And then we're gonna serve it with a with a with a drizzle of vegan butter and maple syrup, which we're gonna do off camera. We're done. Here is the meal. We got the cornbread. It's a little bit too moist in the center. I kind of like it when they're like dry and, and grainy, like sand. 
but I feel it's amazing. Uh, I love it. Again, I would have liked it to be drier, but that's fine. Um, yeah, with that said, happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Uh, thanks for watching. Even though most of you are on the replays, I'm seeing all the lights popping up. And yeah, have a good time with your friends, family, whatever. See you guys in the next one. Bye.